What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Division 2 and today I want to talk about the Division 2 overall and is it worth playing now? Is it worth going back to? Is it worth purchasing if you've never played it before? And the short answer or the long answer I guess either way would be yes. I think the Division 2 in year 2 is better than it was in year 1. Now I picked up the game originally when it first came out. Of course all of year 1's content was free. But I stopped playing right around the time all the year one content was being released. The reason being at the time I was max gear score. The raid had just come out. The raid of course could not be match made at that time. It can now be match made. You can now match make the raid. But at that time it could not be uh, match made. And so you had to have eight people in total to play the raid. So you had to have eight friends on or eight people that you knew that played. And it was kind of a frustration to me. I was already at end game. I'm not a huge fan of PvP in this game. I'm more of a, I'm not a fan of the Dark Zone. I like to play the PvE stuff. And at that time, I, I was at end game. I really couldn't play the raid because I didn't have enough friend zone every day or, you know, every time I wanted to hop on and play it. So it was kind of a frustration and I just stepped away. At the time, I had played for 10 days in game time. So I had played a good bit of, uh, or put a good bit of time in the Division 2. Like I said, right when the Season 1 content started coming out, I just kind of stepped away. Now, all that Season 1 content was free. So, if you are new to the game, you can still purchase, you know, just the base game and have all that Season 1 content for free. You can go up to Gear Score 515, and that is kind of where it stops for Season 1. But when I came back to the game, I decided to go ahead and purchase the Warlords of New York expansion, which was released this year in March. So, this is kind of the year 2 uh, of the Division 2. Um... And I was kind of skeptical. I was thinking, do I really want to pay for this year two stuff? I'd read some good things about it. I read a lot of things, a lot of comments that were talking about the game had improved. And I definitely think the game is in a better state now than it was when it was released personally. Um, the Warlords of New York, without really spoiling anything for anyone that may be just now getting into it, uh, really does not make you have to worry about gear score anymore. You go from level 30 to level 40. Once you reach level 40, there is a new rank up system. I'm not going to ruin that or, you know, spoil exactly what that is if you have not beat the story in Warlords of New York yet. But there is a new rank up system, but you don't have to worry about gear score anymore. Everything that drops when you're 40 is level 40, and all of that gear can be kept. You don't have to worry about changing out pieces because it's a higher level or something like that. Everything's just at level 40. And like I said, there is no more gear score involved. So... Overall, I felt like the purchase was definitely justified once I got into playing because there's a lot of content that is with Warlords of New York. Now, if you have played the game from day one up until now, I might could see a point where you're you're worried that there's still not enough content. I can understand some people saying that, but if you're like myself and you had stepped away, Warlords of New York was definitely worth the purchase. Now, if you are new to the game and you purchase Warlords of New York straight up, you can go ahead and the game will automatically make a level 30 character for you where you can just go into the Warlords of New York. You can step into New York and start playing from there. You can do like I did. I made a new character and played in New York, and then I carried some of my older characters into New York and did the story as well. But overall, just keep in mind that you will have to purchase it. It's not a free you know, content kind of year, uh, not like year one was anyway, but there is still a lot of stuff to do. If you have not played the game or you, have, or you were like myself and you stepped away early on in year one, there are three new specializations, so there are six total specializations in game that you can now have. There's lots of new content in the game, whether you play the free content that came out in Season 1, or if you step into Year 2 uh, and, and start playing all of the content that the game has to offer now. There is also a Battle Pass in the game. You know, every game this day and age has a Battle Pass. Of course, there's a free version of that Battle Pass, and there is a premium version that you can purchase. It's around 10 bucks. There's a lot of content within it as well. And I have been playing Warlords of New York for about a week now, and I still have tons and tons and tons of stuff to do. So, like I said, if you've stepped away from the game or never played the game, this is going to have tons of content for you to participate in. If you've been playing for a long time, definitely leave me a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what your thoughts are on the content if you have played the game since day one and continued to play it throughout year one and year two. Because I'm kind of curious what everyone's feelings on that is. Because, like I said, I'm not to that point yet where... You know, I've done everything in the game. I still have tons of stuff to do from the, uh, you know, kind of the middle of year one to the end of year one. And all of this content to do still from Warlords of New York, which in my opinion has definitely improved the game. I think going to a just straight up level to level 40 and not having to worry about gear score was a big improvement. And like I said, that raid that came out with the game early on can now be match made. So that was one of the big issues I had with the Division 2 at the time. 
There's tons of new exotics to go after and tons of new things to do in New York just in general. But don't worry, once you complete the Warlords of New York, you can also go back to Washington, D.C. and do a lot of the stuff there if you've never done that and you are now picking up the game for the first time. Anyway, leave me a comment, guys, about the Division 2. What are your thoughts? Do you think it's improved uh, since the release? Do you think it's a better game now? Because personally, like I said, I, I feel over the last week that it's a better game now than it ever was when it was first released. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.